I'm Takiya Louise. Thanks for clicking through to view this video of me demonstrating how I multi-mask with the L'Oreal Pure Clay Masks. Now I do have the three of them in front of me and the first one is the green one which has eucalyptus. It's supposed to purify and mattify the skin. Then I have the red one which has red algae and it's supposed to exfoliate and refine pores. Then I have the black one, which has charcoal, and it's supposed to detox and brighten the skin. Now I received these three masks free of charge uh, to use and review from a company called Buzz Asian. If you're interested in receiving free products, please click the info card to be taken to my unboxing Buzz Agent and Chick Advisor packages video, and you can get information on how you can get free stuff too. All right, let's get started. To start off, I wanted to show you the $5 e.l.f. Pore Refining Brush and Mask Tool, which is what I'll be using to apply these masks. One end has a flexible silicone paddle or spatula-like shape that's good for digging out product and smoothing along the face. The other end has super soft, short, densely packed brush bristles that can be used to gently massage product off the face. The jar is glass, and when you unscrew the lid, there is a separate lid inside to keep the mask from drying out therefore saving you money in the long run. Each of the L'Oreal Pure Clay masks contain the three Pure Clays Kaolin, which is good for gently reducing skin oiliness, Montmorillonite, which has purifying and rebalancing properties, as well as Moroccan Lava, which helps treat dehydrated, sensitive skin and large pores and helps to build and strengthen skin's elasticity. Then each mask contains an individual ingredient, either charcoal, red algae, or eucalyptus which targets specific concerns. I start out with the eucalyptus mask, applying it to my T-zone since this is the mask that's good for oily skin. Eucalyptus is said to draw impurities and visibly tighten pores. This is the mask to get if you want to purify and mattify the skin. As I was applying this mask, I felt a slight cooling sensation which made me feel like it would be good at breaking up my oils and refreshing my skin. Next, I apply the red algae mask to my cheeks as they've been a little bit dry lately. And this is a mask for rough textured skin. Red algae is said to gently exfoliate dead skin cells and unclog pores. This is the mask to get if you want to exfoliate and refine pores. It has very fine black granules in it, like smaller than sand, that contribute to the gentle exfoliation. Finally, I apply the charcoal mask to the remaining perimeter of my face where my skin isn't as bright. This is the mask designed for dull skin. Charcoal is said to draw out built up dirt and pollution. This is the mask to get if you want to detox and brighten your skin. As this mask dried, it tightened on my skin a bit, not uncomfortably though, which made me feel as though it was actually vacuuming out the dirt and toxins in my skin. After 15 minutes have passed, it's time to remove the mask, and I use a warm wet washcloth to do so. Circular motions work best. And here's a tip. When you're applying the mask, try to do so in thin layers for easier removal. As I'm working and the air is getting my skin, it just feels fresh and revived. I'm going to be working these masks into my regular skincare routine for sure. They're actually gentle enough that you can use them three times a week. And because smell is so important, I also wanted to mention that each mask has its own uniquely fresh scent. To me, the eucalyptus smells like an older version of Vaseline lotion, the red algae one smells kind of dish soapy, and the charcoal one smells a touch cologne. Which L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask are you leaning toward trying? And that's it for now. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Anything you do is greatly appreciated. And I wanted to say thank you to the 100 of you that have already subscribed to my channel. You helped me reach my first YouTube goal, so thank you very much. While you're here, you should check out some of my other videos if you haven't already. And if you're into nail art and beauty deals, go ahead and check me out on Instagram. I'm at Takiya Louise. Until the next video, take care.